guys, we're gonna be faces back to yet another Rolling Lines video. Today, this video is actually gonna be longer than normal. I'm gonna make it about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, something like that. And we're gonna be checking out this map. Now, if we have a quick look around the map, I'll show you that we've got this room, which is completely full. You know, it's the room without the middle piece, you know what I mean? Uh, if we go into this room over here, we got a desert. And we go over to this room over here, we've got like a river run, which is actually pretty cool. Now, it's not just this, because there is a lot, uh, well, there's a bunch of maps with just three rooms done, but if we go in here as well, uh, we got another room all the way around the outside is done as well, uh, so we'll check that out too. Anyway, we're gonna jump into this, let's go! Hey! Okay, so I guess the first thing you might have noticed as we were going around, that there is actually no trains on this map. That's our job, I guess. That's our job. Um, when I started the map, there was actually a few trains, but they'd crashed into each other around here. Um, and basically it was a big mess of crashed trains. Uh, and that's never a good thing, so we're gonna go ahead and go over here. And we're gonna get some trains going, and uh, eventually we'll see them driving around the map, and that would be pretty cool. So, uh, let's get into that as well. Okay, so I'm over here looking at the liveries, and I thought we would actually add some, like, random trains, okay? We're not gonna bother with, like, saying it's in Canada, we're not gonna bother with saying that it's in Europe, or anywhere like that. We're just gonna get the cool skins, uh, like this CN one, and we're gonna put them on the track. Uh, the first train that I'm gonna use is actually gonna start here, and it's gonna be a double header! There we go, okay, cool. Uh, so that's two diesel locomotives attached together, okay. Now we need some uh, cars for the back of that, and we're gonna go ahead and use... Hold on, we can get some FedEx ones. I don't want it to all be the same car, so we're gonna get random ones and attach them all together. Uh, there's our first one. I do actually have a bunch of CN uh, car skins, so we'll go ahead and find those real quick, and we can attach those. So it should be around here. Hold on, CN. So this is actually CN. Um, CN coal hopper. We don't need that. We don't want that right now. We want the actual, like, cargo things. I'm not sure what you would call them. Here we go. Box cars. Ah, that's right. Okay, box cars. We're gonna go ahead and get a whole bunch of these. Uh, and they're all just gonna be randomly attached, you know? We could have, like, a few of those. Then we could have a FedEx one. And then we could have, like, I don't know, this one uh, behind that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, cool. Okay, so that's our first train actually complete. We're gonna get this thing going around the track. I don't know where it goes from here. It just goes straight into a tunnel. So I guess we'll see it around the track at some point. Let's go ahead and send her off. All right, here we go. I'm pretty sure, but I'm not like 100% on point with this. Uh, I'm pretty sure that there is no other train on the map right now. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the only one we've got. Uh, and that's actually a really good thing. So yeah, off she goes. That's pretty cool. Awesome looking train. Let's move on to the next train. Yeah! The next train I'm actually going to be building is a British Rail train, and uh, it is going to be one singular locomotive at the front, uh, and then we could go on all the carriages, which there are like a bunch of them. Uh, so we're going to start with like, I don't know, like three of these. Let's go with three of these, uh, and then we'll go on to the next one, which I'm not sure what it is. Uh, the next one is a brick car, then we got a buffet, then we got an APT monitor, and a monitor too. Okay, right, cool. We actually want one of these at the front. Um, so the main train at the front is going to be made up of that uh, locomotive at the front. Then we're going to have this car, and uh, then we're going to have the other one, which is this one, Intercity. And we'll have that right there. That's actually pretty cool looking. Then we'll have a bunch of these, that's cool. In fact, we'll have another one as well. There we go. Okay, good. Then we'll have another one of these in the middle. Oh. Okay, yeah, okay, good, that's cool. And then we'll have a bunch of these again. One, two, and three. I guess we should go for four. Uh, there we go, okay, cool. And then we'll go for another one of these uh, over here. Bam! And we'll also go for the one that we don't have yet, which is actually, we don't have a buffet car. Oh, we should really have one of those. And uh, we're gonna go for one of these at the back, at the very back. There we go, okay, awesome. Uh, I do want a buffet car somewhere, so we're gonna go ahead and put it here. Uh, let's go ahead and get the buffet one. Where is it? Where's the buffet? There it is. Okay, cool. We're gonna go ahead and have it right in the middle. Yeah, all right, cool. Okay, attach all of these things together, like so. I believe it's pushed off the back one, uh, which we do need. We do need the back one, so we'll go ahead and keep it. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, now that the train is actually this long, I do want another locomotive. So we're gonna put another one on the front. We're gonna spin this one around. And attach the train together. Oh, gee, Jesus. Whoa! Okay, that's not what we wanted. That is not what we wanted. Is that gonna push them all out properly? I don't know. I have no idea. All right, cool. Let's attach that to there. Spin it around. It looks pretty good to me. That's fine. All right, awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, get this train going as well. 
Guys, 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 we need another passenger train, and it's gonna be this, okay? We're gonna use the big boy, the Union Pacific big boy, to be exact. Uh, so we got this, look at the little logo, it looks so good. It looks so good, and all we've got is Union Pacific on the side. I like it a lot. We're gonna go ahead and get the tender real quick, so boop, boop, there we go, we got the UP tender. Oh, that looks awesome, that looks so good. All right, attach it to there, and then we need some cars for it. Now, what kind of cars do we want? We want uh, passenger ones. So let's have a quick look through here and see if we can find any that would like kind of fit. Um, and I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess we could go for like these ones. I I'm sure these will work. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get a bunch of these, attach them all together. Um, I know they're not like Union Pacific ones and the big boy was probably used for freight rather than passenger cars. Um, but I do like it as a passenger train. So we're going to go ahead and make it actually relatively big. Uh, like so. Uh, we'll make it like this big so that every... Yep, okay, that's fine. Every car can actually get onto the stand. In fact, it might even work with this one as well. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Alright, cool. That's as long as I want the, the, the train to be. Um, we're gonna set it going. Now, I haven't really had a look around this track. Okay, so I don't know whether they're gonna crash into each other if I do start this one here. Um, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. So, let's go ahead and do it! Alrighty, off we go on the Union Pacific train! It's actually so cool, isn't it? It is actually so cool. Union Pacific, all the rivets and stuff on those things look awesome. I like it a lot. I really do like it a lot. This game is really good. It is really, really good. Oh, we're inside a car. Okay, right. Let's move on to something else. Okie dokie. The next train we've got is the Mogaina. Uh, I, I believe that's what it's called. Hold on. Let's have a little look. Mogaina. Yeah, Mogaina steam train and it's actually really cool. This train is so elegant and like, I don't know, the, the white goes really well with the really dark black. Um, and then the gold, like it just makes everything pop out when it's like a dead black train. Um, but I really like it and it's probably gonna be another passenger train. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and try and find some cars real quick. Let's jump out and try and find some. Um, and yeah, it's gonna look really good. So if we skip through here, maybe we could use these cars? I, I mean, they're green. I don't know whether green goes well with the black. Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Uh, so this is like the brake car actually, isn't it? Yeah, it's the brake one. We'll go ahead and use these ones instead. We'll push this one to the back, um, and that's fine. All right, cool. We'll use these. Yeah, okay, right, cool. We can have a whole bunch of them as well if we wanted to. There we go. Awesome. I don't want this train to be as big as the Union Pacific one, because obviously it is just a, a smaller steam train, a steam locomotive. Um, so, yeah, I'm okay with it being this long. Uh, so let's just get it going again. Yeah, off you go. Boys, 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 boys. We've got a problem. We've got a problem. One of our trains has hit another one of our trains. Um, yeah, the, the Union Pacific big boy is actually pushing back two diesels. Um, and that's uh, that's not good. That's not good. I don't know what... Oh, no. It's actually going to have to reverse. That is actually fine. But um, I don't know where the other tracks go to. Um, what we're going to have to have to happen... Have to have to happen is this train's going to have to push this train all the way back. Um, and then we're going to have to make it go off the tracks. Um, we're going to make the, the British Rail Train come off the tracks and go into this nearby, um, while the Union Pacific one goes wherever it needs to go, which is to the right, so it's going to go this way. Um, I knew this was going to happen, but I was hoping that it wouldn't. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, make it go back faster. We're going to go ahead and split them up as well if we can. Um, hold on, I believe they need to stop to actually split, so we'll go ahead and push this one backwards. Um, yeah, okay, cool. We'll make this one go backwards way quicker, and um, yeah, okay, hopefully we can put it all in the siding because it is actually one of the biggest trains on the map so far um, and this siding isn't the biggest so we might have a problem here we might have a problem I don't want there to be a problem but there, there could be one no 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 it's gonna be fine oh no not if I miss the train like that I missed it again uh, stop I think we might have lost some oh we lost one no we lost two this one's also off um, but we're gonna put those back on because we need them there we go okay good Cool. As long as it's off the track at the front, we are fine. All right, cool. Let's get the steam locomotive moving again. And uh, I'm happy now. I'm happy. Okay, well, it looks like we've done that just in time because this train is now at the bridge right behind this one. Uh, we are going to have to make this one get up to speed, though, because it's not at the minute. Okay, there we go. Okay, awesome. Uh, so I did actually want to start adding trains in different parts of the map, um, but I can't really do it here because we've got no lay-by anymore because this train has taken it over. Also, before I forget, we should flick this over so that the trains actually don't crash into it again because that would be bad. Um, but looking at this thing coming down the track is absolutely awesome. That train is actually on the track as well. I mean, that tree. Yeah, I meant to say tree. I said train, but never mind. 
Yeah, how cool is that? Off she goes. It is a really big locomotive as well, isn't it? It is such a big locomotive. Okay, well, this is a room we haven't really been in, so let's go ahead and check it out. Basically, it's just a little desert town. Uh, there's not really that much here. There's a station. Uh, there's a bunch of rocks, there's some hills, and then there's tunnels to get out of the desert. And that's pretty much all that's here, uh, as well as a gas station. So, we're gonna go ahead and get some more passenger trains rolling on this one, and hopefully they don't crash into the other ones, because at the minute, I'm actually quite worried that the Canadian National train is gonna crash into the Union Pacific steam locomotive again. Um, and that's not gonna be good, so I don't know how we stop that from happening. I don't know where the CN train is right now. Um, we'll eventually find it, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I mean, things aren't gonna go too well from here. Right, so what kind of locomotive do we want in the desert? Let's have a little look at these and we can see. So maybe we could have like a Frantic Lines one, have some advertising on this map. Or maybe we could have Hank. Yeah, let's have Hank. All right, we're putting Hank here. Um, I don't know which direction he should be going in. Probably, let's go left. Let's go out that way um, and see where that actually takes us. Uh, I'm not too sure where it will take us, but that's fine. There we go, Hank's tender. Let's attach that. And uh, what can Hank be pulling? I would assume, I would assume that Hank would be pulling like, um, I don't really, I don't really know actually, like coal cars and stuff, so maybe we can make him pull the CN coal cars, and that seems fine to me, so yeah, we'll go ahead and do that, uh, where are they though, where are the CN coal cars, there they are, okay, good, coal hoppers, uh, we'll go ahead and attach bun a bunch of these, um, and it should be quite good looking, I do want it to be like massive, uh, and that would be really cool. But at the minute, we don't have enough room to put things on the track. Um, I've also accidentally put them on the front. Uh, so we can go ahead and get rid of that. And we can make this go forwards. As soon as we do that, we can add a bunch more. There we go. Awesome. Yeah. I want this to be the biggest train on the map. Because Hank's cool. There we go. Okay, good. Keep pushing. Bam. Bam. And bam. Okay, we get an extra three. Ah, oh, yes. That's cool. That is so cool. All right, there's another one. There's another one, and another one. There we go, okay, good. We'll go ahead and use all of these, and we'll get Hank going. Okay, he looks like he's gonna go into the main room. Uh, so I do wanna actually see the main room, so we'll stay in Hank, and uh, we'll see what it looks like when we get there. That is actually menacing. Like, seeing Frank's face just coming out of a tunnel, he's so far away at the minute. Um, I don't know which way he's gonna go. I think he's gonna plow straight into me, so that's not good. Let's move out of the way. Plow, oh my god, Hank looks so happy. He looks so happy. He's a really cool steam train. Now, i just seen a problem with that, um, the locomotive. It's the fact that the wheels aren't actually touching the track anymore if we go around a corner. And that's actually a really bad thing. Let's have a little look here. Yeah, see, they're not actually on the track. Um, that's a weird one. That is a weird problem to have. Right, well, while Frank's going around here... Oh, wow, that's a waterfall. There's a waterfall. Frank's going around this. Uh, I want to actually have a little look at it. So, what we've got is, like, a massive water bridge. Um, with a little island there, okay. If we go around a little bit more... Wait, where does this go? What? Hold on. Is that another track? Where does it actually lead to? Uh, oh, okay, it's just a loop. So they sort of go back on themselves. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, this is also a loop. Okay, so those tracks don't actually join together. Um, they are literally just sort of loops to go back on themselves. That's actually a cool idea. I like that. I like that. So this room is basically just two big loops. That's awesome. I am still very worried about where this Canadian- Oh my Jesus! Okay, right, I missed this. Um, yeah, the Union Pacific big boy has attached to the Canadian National diesels. And, uh, uh we've had a crash. We've had a crash. This little tiny steam locomotive got absolutely nailed by the look of it. And, uh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Okay, let's go ahead and clean this thing up because it needs cleaning. We'll just get rid of all of these things. We'll actually get rid of this train altogether. Um, and we'll get the other ones detached from each other. And uh, we'll make them go again. So, is there any way that we can actually do this safely? Um, what can happen is we'll detach this. We'll push this one backwards quite far. Okay, right. So that's going to go all the way back. It's then going to go that direction. Um, now, the problem with this is that that track on the other side is on a loop. So this train's gonna end up crashing into Frank again. Uh, and that's not good, because uh, Frank's a big boy. And uh, big boys take out diesel trains for breakfast. Yeah, okay. Anyway, this one's out of the way for now. We'll go ahead and get this one going. Here we go. Yeah. Honk the whistle. Honk the whistle. <laughs> I don't know whether you'd say that, but there you go. Pull the whistle. We're going. That train's going too fast. Stop, stop, stop.
stop, stop, stop. Ah, stop. Right, okay. Hopefully it's all, yeah, it's, it's good. It's all good. We're all fine. Okay, get in here. It's going the right speed. That's all good. Um, right, okay, this is so stressful. It's actually really stressful. We got no other trains on the map except from the ones we just saw, as well as Hank. Um, but that's it. That's all we've got. All of this crashing has made me think of something, though. You guys were asking what it would be like if a train crashed into a car. Um, now I actually want to try and figure that out. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a locomotive, like, uh, for example, this one. And we're going to put a car on the track. Okay, we're going to set it off this way. Okay, we're going to turn it around. We're going to go get ourselves a vehicle car. Um, and we'll test the vehicle car to begin with, which is just a prop. And then we'll try one of these. Okay, so we'll leave this here. All right, good. We'll go under the map and try and find a draw. Where's the drawers at? Where are the drawers? Is this one? Where's the drawers? I don't know how you get to the drawers. Um, there's a drawer over here somewhere. I can sense it. There's one. Okay, find a draw. Open the draw. I need to find a car. No, wait, we could probably just find a car somewhere else. No, that's not gonna work though, is it? It's not gonna work. Okay, we need to find a car. Uh, eh, eh? I don't know which ones they're in. Guys, I don't know which, which, oh no. Oh no. Uh, no, train crashes into ferry. That's what we need, we need a ferry. Hell yeah, we need a ferry. Wait, where's the ferry? There we go. Okay, so instead of a car, we're gonna use a ferry. Uh, seems like a good idea to me. We'll leave it there. Fantastic. Right, get you going as fast as you can. There we go. Okay, good. We'll leave that there. And we'll put this on the track. Okay, right. How's this gonna go? I don't really know. Here we go. It's coming in. It's coming in. Choo -choo! Here she goes. Nothing. Nothing happened. Okay, right. Well, that was a bad experiment. Let's go ahead and do the train this time. I mean the train, the ferry. Yeah, the ferry. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Um, let's go ahead and leave that there for now. We'll get in this. We'll make it go as fast as we can. Awesome. There we go. 6.75 is actually the fastest, but we don't have enough time. So we're just going to pick this thing up. And I guess we're going to put it there. And now I think it might just go straight through it. But I don't know. I have no idea. All right, ready? Just went straight through it. Just went straight through it. I've got one more experiment. Just one more, okay? And what it's gonna be is, is, all right, are you guys ready for this? We're gonna just leave it on the track. We're not gonna place it down. We're just gonna leave the ferry there and it should go flying. Like it, it should just go to space. Uh, so if we just do this, whoa, okay, hold up. Nope. That, nope. Yep, there we go, there we go. Bam! No, it didn't really do anything. Okay, put it here, put it here. Is it gonna do anything now? No, it didn't really touch it, didn't really touch it. Ah, no! Okay, this isn't working, boys, it's not working. We need to go find Hank. Hank's a bigger train, maybe he can push us around. I don't know. Well, come on, Hank, where you at? Where you at, Hank? Is he, is he finished yet? Here he is. Crash into the ferry, please. No, Hank's not going very fast though, is he? He's just gonna push the ferry away. Bye, ferry. Anyway, yeah, that was that was an interesting experiment. Just didn't really work. I have another experiment. I have an idea. I have a really good idea. I don't know whether it'll work, but I have an idea. Uh, so because that train wasn't moving, the car wasn't moving when our train hit it, um, I believe that's what makes it not work. So if we go ahead and put a locomotive here and we make it go around the track very slowly, uh, let the, well, yeah, very slowly, that's fine. Okay, we'll spin this around, and we'll make it go around at like three. Okay, three isn't very fast, uh, and that's okay. Actually, we can just make it go full speed, that's fine. Uh, if we go ahead and get one of these, and we put it here. Okay, real quick. We go ahead and put one of these on it, and we make it go backwards very slowly. Okay, very, very, very slowly. We might be able to see what happens when a full speed train hits it. All right, ready? Here we go. Here we go. Bam! It does actually work when it does that. That's cool. I like that. Nice. Right, well, we're going to leave all of these trains here. Finally, I want to go and uh, have a look at this room again. And uh, I want to see what it looks like. So what we've got over here is the British Rail Train. We're going to actually make this thing go as fast as we can around. Uh, and we're going to honk the... Oh, Jesus! Ah! Okay, I didn't see that. I didn't see that at all. Okay, the Union Pacific has pushed the British train off the track. Again! Why? 
Wait, what's it got against the British Rail? Jesus. All right, off she goes. Why is that still got a Can Canadian national train attached to it? I have no idea. Um, but off she goes. That's completely fine. Now we're going to go full speed because I don't think I don't think we got anything to crash into. Uh, so off we go. Yeah, full speed. Come on. 6.75. Off she goes. Full speed. That is epic. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and position ourselves on the bridge and get ourselves some pictures. All right, here we go. Bam! Picture! Yeah! Off she go. How fast is that? That is so quick. This is so fast. Boys, it looks like we've got a problem. I don't know what's happened to the Union Pacific, but it's definitely going backwards as fast as it can. It's actually hit another Canadian national train. I don't know how this has happened. It's just going backwards. Holy bull! I don't know where this train came from, because it's just as- <gasps> No! It was the train that crashed into the other ones. It just kept going, and it took out the Union Pacific. We've got a victor, finally! Yeah! Woohoo! That's awesome. I like that a lot. That's cool. I like that. Nice. So, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did like the video, leave a like down below. If you like longer videos, tell me in the comments down below as well. That would be pretty awesome. And uh, as always, if you like the video that much, maybe you could subscribe. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.